Hey, what's up, guys? It's Braden TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Civilization video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about if it's worth it to be um, gemming for Books of Covenant. Now, this is something that I've had to do in the past. Now, this is there. You need seven hundred of them to be able to upgrade for mine to go to seventeen, and these are really hard to come by because you don't get very many of them at a time. You only get like five to one. Um, the Book of Covenant per Barbarian Fort. So I'm going to be talking about for the free-to-play perspective and also for the pay-to-win perspectives on how to get these. So the, how you can get these is by um, collecting gifts from your Alliance gifts over here. So you all, you can sometimes get these out of um, these ones when people buy stuff. So look, I got a Book of Covenant right there. But um, you can also get them from uh, from uh, partaking in barbarian forts um, so that's the free to play perspective but if you're a pay to win and you get gems often then what you can do is instead of having to wait for all that you can purchase this um, sometimes it can be worth it because you don't want to partake in like over 200 barbarian forts just to get 500 or claim a lot of gifts you guys can do that, or also you can, um, there's this over here, you can get this in the VIP shot, you, you get a thousand for 20, um, it happens a couple times in these, um, yeah, there's 2,000 in there, um, 2,000 in there, um, none in there, and then there's also some for the cheaper VIPs, um, there is none in these ones, um, there's 500 in that one. I uh, there's 300 in that one, and it keeps going down. But uh, so you guys can get those if you're a pay to win. Um, it's a lot quicker way, but there it's a lot slower for the free to plays. And there's people that have that can host rallies with like 1,600, um, even at my kingdom level. And for a free to play, that would take like forever, like. It would be you'd be playing the game forever until you'd be able to max out this to 25 because I don't know how expensive it is to be able to get to 25 where you can do host with 2,000 people like I don't even know if like there'd be 20 people online at one time that can well I mean I'm sure there will be but like it's not very often where you'd need that so but yeah so there I, I gemmed mine from 15 to 16. It was a couple thousand gems. But for free to play, you don't get very many gems very often because um, you only get them from, uh, from like partaking in barbarian forts and claiming gifts. And you only get gems. Oh, wait. I was talking about gems. I thought I was talking about Book of Covenant. I, I was thinking about the wrong thing. But, um... So... Yeah, you only get them from like barbarians and like you get them occasionally from like events but you don't get them very often as a free to play now i'm in the middle between free to play and free to win i don't pay that often but i definitely do get the 30 day gem supply i have i have for the next 80 days 75 days until for um gems free i just get that many gems for the next 75 days because I've purchased this a lot, and this is probably the most best deal in the entire shop. So, um, it's $10 for 30 days, and, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good, uh, thing to do. Yeah, so that's a pretty much it for this video. There's not much else to talk about. Thank you for everyone who stayed to the end to watch this, to the end of this video. Um, I'll be making, I make Day of the Rise Civilizations videos here, so, um, please subscribe because, um, uh, that really helped me out and my channel, and make sure to also leave a like on this video, or, and also share this video, and a comment down below what you guys thought about this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.